Let's talk. Here we go, and a big welcome to Russell. Don't do that. That that might be the thing that messed us up. What? Like that radio, but I don't think so because Deliberate. it worked last time, like I said. Yeah. So that was fine for me. Okay, so let's do it. All right. Okay. So. That's absolutely what makes an ent entertainer. Come so, into the. <clears throat> sorry. So I would say that that's absolutely what makes an entertainer. If you oppose that, then that's like saying Muhammad Ali wasn't an entertainer, which he was an entertainer, but he, he was also a boxer. So an entertainer um, is somebody that entertains, right? Mm -hmm. And they entertain, so a movie star, okay, um, might entertain when he's acting in a movie and um, a singer or a dancer or even somebody iconic um, is an entertainer while they're on stage performing, right? When they're performing. So they're not always on stage and they're not always performing. Right, but the entertaining aspect doesn't stop. I disagree because there's plenty of times when they're just people and they just want to be left yeah. alone. So there's people like that, but then there's also people that are on the rise, like let's say The Rock and Kevin Hart, for example. They're just actors. Just because they're kind and comedians. To no, no, no. They're actors and comedians, but at the same Not time, that I know that they're kind. They're entertainers in all aspects. So even when the the lights and cameras aren't rolling for a movie. They still get on to TV shows and interviews and podcasts, and they sit there and entertain because of who they are, right? And yeah, that's what you and I are going to disagree with that because it's okay. There's plenty of times when I might like a movie, but I'll see an interview with that person, and it's like, yeah, I really don't like the person, but I like the character they played. Right, so. but that's that's your that's an opinion. Well, that's they're not entertaining when they're being interviewed and stuff. They're promoting. No, absolutely, they are because one. To promote a movie, self-image, and to promote your business, right? You, you're. They're Jay -Z, supposed to Jay -Z be has themselves like the, when they're has like doing the perfect, these interviews. Jay Z has a not perfect the character, quote for this, though. Right? No, not the character, but they they themselves are a character in the in the light of the in public. the movie. But no, 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 no. Then hundred percent. I don't know. I don't think that they're all. I, I disagree. So, okay. I think that there are real life people. Let's go but back. First of all, let's go back to Muhammad so Ali. Many, well, let's, let's go just, back to Muhammad Ali real quick. Muhammad Ali wasn't an entertainer, right? He was well, just, you called him an entertainer. He was a fighter. No, he is an. He is. Okay, so now you, okay. So I was saying to your point, if you're saying that he's not an entertainer, then. I don't know how Muhammad. Uh, he's a boxer, and but I. I Is know, he an entertainer? I, I don't think he was an entertainer. You don't think so? I don't think so. And and so I remember Muhammad sport, Ali. I, sport, I had the T-shirt. The sport when of he boxing. Won that. The sport of boxing. Is in is in the entertainment business, right? It's uh, a huge entertainment. A business. sport. Right. Well, football then right. could be entertainment. It is. It's a sport too, though. It doesn't mean that they're right. entertainers. They're but sports they're, players. No, absolutely. But when they step off the field, there's many of them that still become entertainers. They're, what they makes them in, entertainers? Because their 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 position as a figure in the in the role of the citizens doesn't stop, right? So you have people like Ocho Cinco. Um, I don't know who that is. Okay, so let's stick to Muhammad Ali. Um, Muhammad Ali was a boxer. That's a sport. But it's put on for entertainment of people, right? Can you guys get in this uh, chat and see? So, one, if Muhammad Ali, or if you agree with what, with what Russell's saying is an entertainer, or if you think that the entertainer is what I'm saying, and that's when they're on stage being an entertainer. Like, when they're actually entertaining. Interviews aren't entertainment when they the do major, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute so wait a minute because you did your whole Muhammad the, Ali thing no 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 I'm not I'm not even done I wasn't even done with that but so it should be my turn okay okay go ahead. so the major point of it was that you have to have a different breed of of a person to be able to get to the heights and the standards that some people get to so the success and fame of Michael Sometimes Jackson it's just luck too Muhammad right. Ali Come on, um, man! There are movie stars there's, that there's are nepotism. More. No, there's more That's people. Nepotism. There's more people that 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 we could list the name off. But let's use some iconic ones. For example, Muhammad Ali was a boxer and an yes. entertainer that sold out plenty of arenas for boxing. However, when he stepped off the stage, his charisma, his character, and his person, his his self-image, was still an entertainer off 
the boxing. I agree with Muhammad Ali with fighting okay. like a butterfly, stinging like a bee, and all the bullshit okay. he said to promote him as a boxer and an entertainer. Okay. okay, so you could, get, but not twenty four seven. And he certainly was not entertaining. What we're talking when about he was in the going, eye when, of the Wait a minute. Okay, we're going to go there the because the you know that he had Parkinson's. Right. So was he entertaining when he was Through fighting? Through Parkinson's, yes. When he was fighting to get the Parkinson's law changed and the money for Parkinson? Because that's not entertaining. Yes, he did. No, no, no. He I'm, definitely did. Hold with on. With Michael I'm J. Saying, Fox. Wait, wait, wait. You can't wrap that. I'm saying. Well, I'm you are. Like, You're no. saying 24 7. Eight. No, we're saying in the eye of the public. So when they're on interviews podcast, which I said on here, interviews podcast in the face of the public, they entertain me. He was making Parkinson's aware and fighting for Parkinson's, and you want to call okay. that entertain? He was entertaining. He wasn't entertaining. No, that, that's a that's a whole different. He used what he did as an entertainer well, to yeah, forward. Yeah, you can the always get that news. gray in there. Yeah, he got the he got people to pay attention to something right. because of who he was. Right. But that's not our argument here. No, but that's the overall objective of, of an entertainer. An entertainer does not just stop because its cameras aren't rolling or because uh, they're Trust not. me, they're not an entertainer all the time. They'll tell you themselves, leave me alone. Yeah. I don't want it. It's just this is my that. personal life. I'm saying in movies. If the cameras aren't rolling in the movies, if the cameras aren't rolling when he's on the mat, if he's in an interview, in, in a podcast, whatever it is, those people are tending to be more like entertainers. No. That's why we view them as so much different than we are. No, you view them as so much different than we are. I don't. I don't view them as so much different than we are at all. Everybody does, or else they wouldn't be idols. That's not true. They wouldn't. Uh, you've they, made the, so now you've called each person on television an entertainer and an idol. I wouldn't That's call everybody true. an entertainer or an idol. We so pick an iconic idol. people. Okay, and we, we had a disagreement people. with, and I like Keanu Reeves, but I don't think he's an iconic actor. I didn't say he was iconic. No, you did. No, I At disagreed first you with did. it, and you can replay it. Yeah, I disagree. Well, yeah, I said I'm not saying he's iconic. I didn't say that. I said that he's. Yeah, we're he's, gonna see that. It takes a unique individual to be Keanu Reeves. That's not. That's not something that just randomly happens. That's not just a normal person. I. Yeah, people, you and I are gonna disagree on that because to me, that's a job. He's a very good actor. He, he wasn't so good at the beginning. I didn't think, again, his, his voice annoyed me. Okay. But but he's still around making I, phenomenal but he's, movies. But he's made, he's yes, made he's very, movies. yes, he has. Okay. He's definitely, and each character, okay. for the most part, has been something different. And he, his just his choreography alone in The Matrix is fucking amazing. I agree with all of that. So, but I don't think 24-7 is this guy an entertainer. I don't think any of them 24-7, isn't it? They're allowed to shut the lights and just be them. Yes, I agree And, with and that. when they're doing interviews, they're not always entertaining either. I agree I think with that. that. I'm saying that it's a special there, breed of person to become iconic, to become uh, somebody who achieves a high level of fame, um, success. You, you have to have... You have to continue on that entertainment past whatever you're doing. Is there any actor that you don't like that is really um, popular? Any actor that I don't like that is that's really, really popular. popular, or any singer, or somebody that's like that somebody might consider iconic or an idol to them, and you're like, man, I just don't get it. Because I'm wondering if you would consider to be them honest, an I entertainer. Don't, I don't even think of. Or if I don't all think that. of it that way. I think of it like you know. If Barbara I don't Streisand, like it, I just know. Barbara Streisand don't like has it. an amazing voice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. I think she has an amazing voice, and a lot of people think she has an amazing voice. And I mean, she's got a voice with an octave. I mean, more than an octave. I think she's got like I want to say two and a half. I mean, a, a crazy octave. You know that that this woman or octaves that this woman can sing. That yeah. makes her amazing. She, you know, that makes her an amazing singer. Right. I think music is one of those, the more authentic you are, the, the better it is. Right? Especially with... with well, she's music. an entertainer. Right. Well, she's not an entertainer, necessarily. She's an entertainer when it comes to stage. Right? She's, an ent she's a movie star, too. What are you talking about? She's somebody that's won... She's okay. she's she's somebody that's won the um, the Oscar the um, she's an she's never won an she's stage, never won right? no 
No, no, because she's the movies. Right, that's what she's movies. Stage. Well, stage is Broadway, which that too. Okay, so okay, so stage. it is stage, but it's movies, and um, it's um, uh, you know, singing. Yeah, she is an entertainer. She's an icon. Yeah. Okay. So, but, but she's not an entertainer all the time. She tell you yourself. No, I'm not, you I'm not saying people are entertainers all the time. You when they're in their home. Seven. When they're in their home. No, you said 24-7. I said when the cameras are rolling. When the cameras are I on. I can't wait to on play podcast, this shit back. When they're on a podcast. When they're on an interview. That's what I said. Okay. Specifically. You can't push me down okay. that lane. All right. so no, man. I'm, I'm gotta, not worried about it. Because I'm going to play this shit. And it's going to say exactly what you those said. Those are two things you got to replay. Um, yeah. We'll see. The, aspect, okay. the aspect of musicians becomes more successful when the authenticity is there. When there, when there is the true person, the true character that you see is the same person that you can believe in the imagery of their songs. You can trust in what they're saying. That creates that connection. That's how they touch from consumer to customer. and You don't have to see to somebody them. to connect to a song. You know that. No, you don't have to, but it makes you want to. No, man, I disagree. Me, you and you I disagree I all over. Here's the thing. I have connected to so many songs just because it's played on the radio. I don't know who the fuck 100%. I'm listening to half the time. Who's your favorite artist? Man, I, I don't really... You know, I was a, I'm a Beatles fan. I love the voice Beatles. of John Wayne. Okay, let's let's go for Beatles. Right? I there's a lot so of people. I mean, Beatles have lot. beautiful music. You don't have to see them to to listen to the music and to enjoy it. But does the aspect of them and their public stance and things that they went through as a group not make you feel more part of who they are? Does it not connect you to the music? I'll tell you more? what connected me to the music, and this might win your argument. No, oh, no, 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 just no, yes, no, 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 no. Yes I, or no, no to that. because I, I have some, no. You're not gonna make me say yes or no. I'm gonna answer your question because it's. I'm gonna share an experience with you. So on my fifth, when I quit smoking, I was going to London, right? And I went to London, and then I was going to Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Liverpool, where the Beatles are from. Yeah. And I did this special tour. And I stood in the middle of Penny Lane. And I stood in the middle of um, Strawberry Fields. And I had somebody point out where the banker had his motor car and the banker wore his Mac and where he got the haircut. And he pointed to where the bank was and the bank was there. And he pointed to where the haircut place. And I don't think that was there anymore, but the, showed me the storefront. And just went around Sergeant Pepper because yeah. I remember now in the middle there was Sergeant Pepper's, so that's that made me so connect because I was able to see the song lyrics, and these kid these men grew up in this place where these songs were made. So a lot yeah, of the songs, well, because a lot of the songs like Penny Lane, Penny Lane. Is, is a physical place. Strawberry Fields is a physical place. One of them was uh, an orphanage, and it's still there. And the but strawberry. You learned everything about the knowledge of them through their songs. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about I knew the knowledge of the songs through right. listening to the songs and then seeing those things. Okay. okay? And in between there, you also had references of either watching interviews. Oh, I devoured every fucking book. That's my point. What is your point? That's my point. When when the entertainer is not just I connected to the music before. I connected right. to the music before I ever read the books. And you have right. to remember, I was born in 63. The Beatles right. ended in 69, 70. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know anything about them. But I do remember asking my mom about the Beatles without knowing... That there were four people in a band yep. without knowing who they were yeah. because of the music. Absolutely. That's what gravitates you towards them. That's what makes you enjoy it. I but know nothing spirals, about John Wayne, but I love his but voice. What spirals it and he's one of my favorites. To more connection and what makes you want to participate more in their movement or, or what they're doing. You dive into who they are. Now you you're talking them. about something different, though. You're talking about... The artist, not the song. So there's two different things. No, right? but you dive into them. No, you because you could them. just like certain songs and not give a shit about the artist and still connect to the songs. I never said anything about not connecting to the song. But that's what we're talking about. 
No. Remember when I was said I was in Liverpool and I with the right, but where? That's already something that I already clarified. I said no. You can connect to a song without seeing the artist, and that's what creates the initial gravitation. That's what brings you to who that person is. I already said that. But when it comes to seeing who the artist is past just their music, their entertainment plays a role in that. And in seeing who they are, and seeing interviews and live performances and hearing yeah. their story connects you even more to that music 100 percent. there's people that I, I would argue to say that more than not people will go and figure out who they're listening to after they listen to it and after they connected to it to figure out more about that person so um duncan chic barely breathing you know that song mm -hmm. i am barely breathing mm -hmm. no okay well it was a real popular song in about 1996 I'd say, 1996, yeah. 1997. And the song did wild, you can look at it. And I bought the album, okay. right? And that was the only song on the album that sounded like that. Like, I really want my money back. And if I saw Duncan Sheik today, I'd ask him for my money back. So I connected to a song that I still like very, 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 very much and connect to, and it brings back all these memories for me of where I was at that time, who was in my life at that time, why I connected to that song at the time, nothing to do with Duncan Sheik. Mm -hmm. Bought the album, and I don't know what I did with the album because I only liked the one song. Mm -hmm. What do you do with that? You never looked into it, researched them. Yeah. And no desire because only one song did I connect to off of the album okay, that probably had them. ten. Yeah, there's a picture of him on the album. Okay. I don't really remember what he looked like. Well, that never mattered to me. Yeah. Um, there's Again, a in the there's a difference in the in the time frame as well. There's a lot of variables. It's not <laughs> it's not just no. It's I I know that nowadays that social media and everything has changed. Nowadays, yeah, it's a it's a lot. But more. wait, but so, no, I'm not gonna let you go there what? because I'm 60 years old. And before social media, I connected to a lot of songs, and I liked right. some artists, and some artists I didn't like. 100%. And that, it was just as important, if I'm not, not more. I'm not saying there's no validity but, but, to how important it was. But see what but I'm saying? And I, you didn't have the availability to look things up. Right, you but I'm saying that there's more variables to where now people are researching and looking into who they're who Yeah, they're but it doesn't to. mean that they're getting more connected I can understand. Absolutely, 100%. Wait a minute. I can understand. There's a reason. There's a reason why no, people there are, are people there is that a I got reason why people to. are selling out shows not only in the United States but across the whole world. I, I and that's agree because with that. people research and they look into it no, and they follow I think their that lives. They've connected there's to a reason it. for people having flash mobs and, and fucking researching where people are gonna fly into land. There's there's real people that fucking are fans like. Exactly. And there are, their, I agree with that. Their life I agree with that. Completely into what that what that individual is doing. I right? agree with that. But on a on a global level, this well, is where variables you, are different. So how do you how do you how do you go about that about with what? this argument alone about what? and go the argument of um, people connecting to more connect more so more so? Uh, why don't we go back to like. Um, like my, when my mom was born and when my mom right. loved Al Jolson and there wasn't. All you had was those magazines. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's all you had was magazines. Variable. But you would still have you would still have the picture of somebody's face. But the picture thing of somebody's that, face but the thing that you would still have radio shows that would bring them on and they would talk and promote their I, album. That I, I, would, I would assume so that, and then that would be you that. would also have traveling not shows. Not near right? as much. Not near have, as much my You would mom also have traveling see. shows to where you can go and see them and not only that so they had the newspaper live, so they what? had the newspaper as well anything that populated with any type of artist is typically inside the newspaper so that's that's a, I don't that's know. a factor as well i don't know from a california artist to um you know a hollywood florida but there's a variable in that and the variable is how successful is that artist is that artist fame is it enough to catch the attention across the united to states me, or is it somebody that's just locally known? I honestly think that when somebody connects to a song, they it connect. doesn't matter if that song is a one-off, if that song was just somebody singing it in, a, in an office walking by and, and the... Here's the point. Everything. Please You had somebody. You had somebody 
that you listen to and listen to one song only, one off, done, right? Yeah, there's a few artists that okay. are one off. So you connected to that one song. Wonders. You yeah. didn't connect to the artist. I did not connect to the artist. That's the point. When people research, learn more about it, they are involved in this person's life. They see where they came from, who they are. They're more inclined to be connected and stay connected throughout that person's if journey. If I would have liked more of his songs, I might have. Okay. So that's, that's another variable. But I love John Waite. And all, I know he's from England. I know he was in a couple bands. I can... His voice out of any voice, I could pick it out like that. He's so one how do you of my know favorites. that he was in a couple of bands? Because I know his voice. Like, I mean, you well, he's been around for a while, so you would hear older stuff. That's John Waite. And then you would look it up. Or one time, one time I was in a movie. One time. So you, so you looked it up. Because of his voice. Okay. One time. So, and, because and of one his time voice, I was you looked in, it up. I and now you're more movie. connected with him. Not and more now, connected. You, that's not more connected. Lisa. It, it's it's not I'm not connected to him and I've I've seen him once or twice in co I'm not more connected to him I couldn't tell you what the guy's doing now I mean like no 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 I'm not I, absolutely not but I love his voice right. okay um, entertainment let's let's go back to the entertainment aspect. Um, Entertainers. You know, we disagree on a lot of shit. I can good. see that. <laughs> That's good. Entertainers are definitely. We need to go to this other stuff. Definitely a different um, breed of human. To be able to to be able to put on whatever entertainment they're doing, successfully achieve that, and then also obtain a. I don't think that we need to give entertainers all of this. Because they get plenty of They're it. They're different. And you're not you're not going to catch the regular Joe Schmo walking down. They the street. were all Joe Schmoes at once upon a time. Yes, but they didn't have the skill. They didn't have the drive. They didn't have the creativity. They didn't have the connections. They might not they didn't have been have, in the right place at the right time. They didn't have the connections. Matt Dillon. They didn't Matt have Matt Dillon, the actor Matt Dillon, so, was on, found in a high school. Okay. Like he was found just in a high school. All he was okay. there, he went to school, okay. and the woman gave him a movie role because he had the look. Because he had the look. He right? had the look. So somebody didn't have the look, and he had the look. So he had Guess the what? look. There's people that don't have creativity. Guess what? There's somebody that does. Look at Steve Buscemi. There's somebody he that has doesn't. Too, there's somebody that doesn't look have a John singing C. voice. Look at John C. Riley. There's somebody that has a singing voice. There's somebody that doesn't have the passion. It doesn't make them all that. There's somebody that does have the passion. There's somebody that doesn't have the the fucking energy for it. And there's somebody that does have the energy. Listen, for it. man, I give credit. To, and, and we've had this conversation, I'm pretty sure. Let's say... I give credit to a person that can get up there every night... Here's a perfect and listen, example. No, no, no. Well, no, I'm going to give okay. you your entertainment thing. Okay. By, by saying this. I've been on stage. And, and it's it could be easiest. exciting. Wait a minute. It could be exciting. And then okay. there's times when I'm three quarters of the way through a song. Absolutely. And it's like I want, it, I want it to end. Okay. So... Then there's people like Paul McCartney. Who can get up there and rock it. And the time. same fucking song all the time over and over rock. again. That is an entertainer. Okay. He is amazing. Okay. Okay? So I get I'll give that. You, I'll give you another one. I get that. Let's say Oprah, right? Because you said anybody, Joe Smo, you know, whatever else. It could be the same. This is where a different breed comes in. A different breed of person, or female in that matter, wouldn't be able to do what Oprah achieved. And if it was possible, then there would be more people that achieve what Oprah's achieved. But they haven't. She worked for an entertainment industry, didn't like the person. The person told her, you know, you're never going to achieve this. I'm taking away these hours, so on and so forth. And she went out and created her own platform, grew that platform. And now she's a billionaire. She's invested. She's she's soaked roots. You can beat him up on the comments about Oprah. I have nothing to say about it. I'm just listening. It's it's a it's a different breed of human being to be able to push yourself You're talking and about, have the drive. I to would have to honestly say do something. I would honestly that say that Oprah Winfrey has come up from absolutely from nothing. nothing. Absolutely, but absolutely. That is a different so, but breed of person. Is, but it's not every entertainer. Who, who, who? And I don't think Oprah Winfrey is an entertainer. I mean, she's not. She does interviews. She's not. I don't think that she would even That's, consider herself. A, people well, watch she's it. been people an actress. Watch it because it's, she's an actress. She's an actress. And and people watch the show because it's an entertainment business. Well, people can say that about the fucking news. That is entertainment. No. That is. 
anymore. You're telling me that you see you telling me it, 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 it you, was not made for me, entertainment. Okay, it wasn't made now, for listen, entertainment. But Jerry Springer that, entertainment this is, absolutely this is variables. Oprah Winfrey. This is variables. Oprah Winfrey not variables. entertainment because absolutely. Oprah Winfrey it's on the same was stage. informative. No, yes. and Oprah Winfrey I think would be very insulted if you that, compared her to the Jerry Springer you compared show. Her to Jerry no, I didn't. I said you the difference. Her. No, I didn't. I said that. Jerry Springer, so, entertainer, Oprah not. Here we go. Oprah Oprah has completed a level of success that a lot of people would not be able to achieve. I give if, that to Oprah. Okay. If it were possible for people to achieve what these famous or idol, whatever you want to call it, these successful people, if it was that easy to do, then more people would be inclined to do it. But they're not. They're not. It's drive, it's creativity, it's passion, it's work yeah, ethic. Yeah, you've already went through it's, all that with me. Okay, but those those are What do you say about those dividing people that factors. end up with those are drug dividing problems? Factors. What do you end up with those people those are that end their lives factors. early with those the drug problems? Those are dividing problem. factors from normal people and a I hate the, breed. I hate that you the, I hate that you different say breed. that. Yeah. Those are a different no, breed of people. I'm not I'm not I, a you thousand can, percent. We're going to agree to disagree on percent. that. Let's go to ADD and ADHD because we're not going to come together on that. I, what I've, was your What was your last question? Because you were going to say, "What would, What do you think about what?" I don't know. It doesn't even matter. It does matter. Well, it doesn't because I really don't want to argue this point anymore. <laughs> I think that we're just going to go around in circles. ADHD. ADHD and ADD. So we talked about this before, yeah. and we talked about like when we were growing up. You know, I don't know how old you are. I know. That you know where I think we left off on it. I think. Um, it doesn't matter. We I don't was have saying, that. Right, but I, it's a really good point, and it was. I think it's a good part to start off on, because um, it was something that we disagreed on, and I said, you know, I don't. Well, we've disagreed on a lot of shit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we always do. A lot of shit good. today. <laughs> That's good. Um, I think where the problem of this comes from, which I agreed with you on, different children learn different ways. But the yeah, but nobody's seen that. Remember, like right. nobody's seen that because that didn't. Right. That so didn't you want to start with that? Through. Well, I at least want people to know what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So ADHD, um, ADD, how it affects children, the medication given to them, and just um, like this, and the diagnosis. diagnoses didn't come out of the blue. Like I mean, like all of a sudden they had a diagnosis for this. And they started medicating kids. Yeah. Where if I would have been born ten years later, then they would have medicated me, yeah. and I was a daydreamer. Right. I just had to learn how to learn, yeah. and that's where and I credited my ninth grade math teacher yeah. because I was dyslexic with numbers. Before, yeah. excuse me, before there was a diagnosis yeah. that was dyslexic with numbers. There's a, a different term. It's not dyslexia, the dyslexic with numbers. There, it's a it's a new diagnosis. 